We need a formula that will tell us the sum of the angles in any polygon. So we're going to start by looking at a triangle, a square, and a pentagon. I've set up a table here where we're going to look at how many sides does it have, how many triangles can we fit inside that polygon, and what's going to be the angle sum. So let's start with the triangle. Well, triangle has three sides, so I'm going to write three in for the number of sides. The number of triangles, well, this is just one triangle. And we remember that the angle sum of a triangle is always 180 degrees. So let's move on to the square. Well, right now we don't have any triangles, but if I drew in one diagonal, I've now created two triangles. So the number of sides is four. The number of triangles is two. And if we have two triangles, if I add that up, that's going to be 360 degrees. So I'm starting to notice a pattern. Let's make sure it works for a pentagon. Pentagon, we can draw in two diagonals from one vertex. And now we've created one, two, three triangles. So we have five sides. We've created three triangles. And three times 180 is 540. So let's make this formula a little more general. Let's say for an n-sided polygon, the number of triangles that we're going to be able to draw is some number. Well, 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3. So you're taking the number of sides, n, and you're subtracting what number? 2. So we said that will give us how many triangles we have. The number of triangles times 180 degrees because every triangle's angle sum is 180 degrees, will equal the angle sum. So I'll write equals the angle sum. So notice we've created our formula. If you want to know the sum of the angles in any polygon, subtract 2 from however many sides you have, and multiply by 180 degrees.